In the last video, we found this hardtop on Marketplace, picked it up on an extremely cold day, and then test fitted it on the Jeep. Then we added a working heater. And in this video, we're going to finish the installation of the hardtop and then take it on a drive. After cleaning the threads, found some bolts to fit because the ones that came with the cap are really in bad shape. So these aren't quite matching, but they're pretty dang on solid. This takes this spacer. So I had to put that in there. So I am ready to uh, hang the door so that way I can figure out where the hinge for the bottom one is going to have to be mounted in, in here. I'm going to end up drilling holes. I doing? It doesn't look like it's quite, it looks like it's too tight up against this frame. I think it needs to go back just a little bit, so I think this, this spacer might be a little more than I need. So I think I'm going to pull the spacer out and do a test fit. Alright, took that spacer out, so we're going for attempt number two. Time to say shut. Fits within the pillar now. So that might be where it needs to go. Also, it looks like it could probably be set in just a little bit. So I think we're gonna loosen this up, push that uh well, it's not perfect, huh? My guess is these aren't normally perfect anyway. I can see where they had insulation in here before. So I think what we gotta do. Get that lower hinge on there. I think we about got that. Okay, I thought I'd switch from uh, the passenger side door over to the driver's side. And in the previous video, I had showed that uh, the original bolts that were snapped off in here need to be drilled out. So I got those drilled out and uh, got it retapped. I <laughs> got everything laying out here then and uh, got a set of bolts. So all that there is working now. So we're going to go ahead and put this. Uh, door on this side. So like the other side, I'm not going to put the spacer in here. So we'll just go ahead and uh, line this up. Yeah, I'd say that bottom needs to go in a little bit. Wow, what's up with that? I think what's going on... I think the bottom of this door is hitting the bolt that's holding the, uh, the seat. Because I have the seat up kind of high, I have shims in it, so that it would sit more level. So I guess I'm going to have to bend that, that seat mount so it fits closer to the floor, so this doesn't sit up as high and hit that door. There we go. The worst part of this cap is the top. As you can see, um, it's got quite a bit of rot. The holes are really uh, elongated. Um, I'll put it this way so maybe you can see there is a small dent that's up in there. Right now, that does not concern me that much. What I'm going to end up doing for this, one, the way this looks right now, I like the patina because it matches the current patina on the Jeep. Eventually, the Jeep is going to get uh, repainted and totally restored. Then it's different. Then I'll do this cap right. But for now, I just want to run and play with it as it is. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to cut a metal strip that's going to sit on top of this 
and take that space and when I run the fasteners through here it's literally going to sandwich the cap between that spacer and the windshield frame. So I think that's going to do to seal things up to do what I want to do. This is the metal I'm going to use for doing at the top of the cap. It's uh, actually aluminum. It's part of a shelf down the service vehicle from years ago. So if I get the cutter out to cut that, but before I do that, I'm going to need to make a template. But before I do that, I need to make a template for the top of this frame. And I don't really want to get up on top of the hood to try and uh, cut a piece of cardboard to fit that, so I'm going to show you what I got. As you see, I still have the old windshield frame, so I'm going to use that to make my template to get this curve. Okay, so there's my template. I'm pretty happy with that. See how it looks on the Jeep. There we go. That should cover up the ugly and give me a more solid surface to uh, attach this with. Not quite done yet. I'm going to put a bead of silicone up along this edge simply because this stood up a little bit more than I wanted it to. It didn't want to roll down and I'm not going to worry about trying to bend that to shape it. This is just a sandwich that in and hold that on. One of the other things I did is I used some tie down straps as you can see to um, just to help to make sure that this top was pulled down nice and tight on top of that windshield frame. This is not long term. Eventually I will cut this metal out and replace it and do it right. But uh, for now, I think that'll do. I don't think it looks too bad. Okay, now that I've got this marked, I was holding the door up just a little higher, just using a pair of uh, my vice grip clamps there. I'm going to pull this door off. It'll be a lot easier to bolt that hinge on with this out of the way. Alright, that's tight. Let's see how badly I did. back attached so I, I think that's why this latch is just opening up there we go yeah once I get this bolt down the back here then it should be solid I like the line at the top so I'm very happy with that I need to make a stop when this is open that it holds that door doesn't let it go because if it smacks my mirror that's not gonna be good so we're going to need to put something on there. Since I need a stop for this and it was like a leather belt, only thing I have laying around the house is a piece of a leather shoestring, so we're going to try that to see if that'll work. Let's see how we did. I think that'll do it. on this side needs a little help. I'm going to have to make an adjustment on that one. So I adjusted this striker plate out just a little bit, well actually as far as it would go, and it still wouldn't latch because as you can see there's some rot down here so this frame had movement to it. So I'll show you, I put a little spacer in there, but now nice and solid. 
do some glass cleaning. Don't laugh at me for using this tiny little bottle. It's all I could find laying around in here. I can't find my, my spray on foam cleaner. Okay, with everything taken care of here now, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling my tools out. Take this out for a run. Well, I hope you enjoyed riding along for this little uh, road trip. Things went well. Very noisy though, so I got a lot of vibrations, a lot of things to take care of on that side. But once this errand is done, well, that's gonna do for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this series of finding this cap and getting it on the Jeep. 
Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I still have a lot of different plans that I want to do with this Jeep in the future. Um, one of the things I want to do with this cap, I'm thinking about building some sort of a, a rack to put on the roof. I think that might be kind of cool. Maybe some old vintage lights or something like that. I'm going to a swap meet here soon, so maybe I'll find some parts that'll, that uh, will fit that bill. Well, if you enjoyed this, I hope you hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more, especially on this Jeep. Um, and also comment. Let me know what you think. And, uh, or if you've had an old Jeep in the past that maybe you don't anymore, tell me about it. I think it would be pretty cool to, to hear. Again, thanks for watching.